see, shining with all his might, he did his very best to make the billows smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. Always do sober what you do drunk. It'll teach you to keep your mouth shut. Hemingway said that. Yes, he did. And he said it to me. I don't want you to go to Canada tomorrow. It's for the podcast. It's what I do. I travel around and I interview weird or interesting people. So look out, you crazy Canucks. Wandering Wallace <laughs> takes a raunchy road trip up to the Great White North. Hello. I'm an old man who has enjoyed a long and storied life at sea. And after eons of oceanic adventure, I know I do not wish to spend my remaining years alone when I have such stories to share. How far is Bifrost from here? It's about two hours from here. It's about two hours away. I hate American guys. Good evening. It's nice to meet you. Could I interest you in some tea? So what happened after the boat sank? I was alone. And then something very swift and frightening moved by me. A walrus saves your life? The walrus is far more evolved than any man I've ever known. Present company included. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you? Huh. Would you? There, there. It'll be all right, Mr. Tuss. He hasn't called me in three days. I'm worried. Boris! Why are you doing this? <laughs> are you really mourning your humanity? I don't understand. Who in the hell would want to be human? This guy wants to turn me into an animal or something. 